Shomoris Yom HaShabbos Lekadcho. Safeguard the day of the Sabbath, the seventh day. Safeguard the day of the Sabbath Lekadcho to keep it separate or holy. Ka'asher Tzivcha Yehoah Elohecha. Like Yehoah, your God, has commanded you. Sheishas Yomim Ta'avod. Six days thou shalt work. Ve'asisa kol melachtecha. All the work you want to do, finish within those six days. Have your week planned so that all the work you're going to do is done by that six days. Ve'asisa kol melachtecha. Do all your work. The Yom Hashvi'i and the seventh day Shabbos is a day of, is a day of sitting, of stopping, of returning. These are related to the word Shabbos, the seventh day, the Sabbath. Yom Hashvi'i Shabbos la Yehoah Elohecha to Yehoah your God. In other words, even though it is true that the Sabbath was given for man and not man for the Sabbath, it is true this is a gift that we were given. Nonetheless, this is beyond our ability to judge if we want it or not. Yehoah is saying, you, I don't trust you. You are too able to get into an object in motion stays in motion. Working 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You are too able to get into work mode, into get things done mode, into work for the sake of tomorrow. I will live tomorrow. You're able to get into that mode and not stop. And therefore, whether you understand it or not, guard the Sabbath. Remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. And for whom? The Yom Ashvi, the seventh day, and the seventh day, Shabbos is a Shabbos. The Yehoah Elohecha, to Yehoah your God. Lo sa'aseh komolacha. Do not do any work. Atta, you. Uvincha, and your son. Uvitecha, and your daughter. Va'avdecha, and your servant, or employee, male servant. Va'mosecha, and your maid servant. Visharcha, and your oxen. Vichamarcha, and even your donkeys. The and pecha, and any other animals that you might discover that you can work with. Vigercha asher b'sharecha, and anyone living within your gates. The Bible is against the concept of multiculturalism. It is. It is against the concept of multiculturalism. It is uniculturalism, but not racist. There is a single rule that should apply, la ezrach la guerre, to the born citizen and the naturalized citizen. But, do not have peddlers going throughout your midst. Anybody who comes to live with you has the same rules as you. You become a Jew. That's how it's supposed to be. Of course, you have to understand what it all means. You know, to, you know we have to understand... I don't know, I've written about conversion, if I recall, and if I don't, then let me know. I'll put a comment here regarding conversion, an article on Substack, which is, uh, the whole article is only for subscribers, but the majority of it is available for everybody, and everyone does get a free seven-day subscription, which comes with my complete 15-hour podcast, or 15-part podcast, approximately 15 hours, on exotic Jewish history. And you don't have to give that back if you don't stick around for seven days. Also, quit any time. It's $36 a month, and in it, I'm doing, you have no idea what I can do. If I have the followership, if I have the means, it's not for now to discuss. Uh, but even over here, you should know, the internet is not really in my favor. So uh, here on YouTube, if you've subscribed here on YouTube, YouTube will only show you my videos approximately one time out of every few weeks. Literally, I have over 700 subscribers. YouTube only shows my video to subscribers once in a long while. You can click on the subscribe button and then click all. Right now for notifications, it's under personalized. Personalized means they won't show it to you. Because the algorithm doesn't like it, plus I overturn all the money tables. There's a lot of people who don't like it. AI completely understands everything that I'm saying here better than the average, well, hopefully not. Hopefully the average of how much you understand, the average person watching understands, is hopefully higher than AI. But AI, I have explored this. They are darn close. They, and, you know, so, and they're not interested in stuff outside the cookie cutter. We are living in a safety first era. So the only way you're going to see it is if you click subscribe and then all for notifications. But also the real way is by joining on Substack or on Patreon. And again, just join for one month, please. Try it out. $36, I think everybody can afford it. It's a lot to ask if this is just entertainment, but it's not just entertainment. I am trying here to save the world, and I am only able to do it because of subscribers. That's it. Otherwise, I cannot do it. Subscribers and sponsors. You can sponsor as well. But subscribers is the main thing, please. It shows that you're following. And please, this is very important. Please, 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 if you can help me get subscribers, if you know social media, or if you know somebody who does know social media, please help me out here because I am not just a babe in the woods where I don't know what I'm doing social media wise. I've been out of public life for over 20 years. But in addition to that, this is very much not my kind of thing. I, I, dis, I find it very distasteful. So if somebody enjoys it, uh, which is great, Every single thing that you're able to enjoy in this life is a gift from God. It's not bad or good to enjoy one flavor of living versus another flavor. It's bad to not enjoy the flavor that you are actually living. 
you should follow your flavor. So if you enjoy, if you're good at actually growing up a subscription, making this thing real, please, please make it happen. Please get in touch. ASAP. Time really is of the wasting. So... So over here we have God saying in the Ten Commandments that you should observe the Sabbath, and not just you, but everybody should observe the Sabbath, even down to your lowest animals, and it also includes, as a special category, all the people who are living. The Sabbath day is holy. Everything stops. It's supposed to be a whole different world, a whole different world, a start over every week. The Jewish belief is that if there is a single Sabbath that everybody keeps, then we have achieved the Messiah. If there is a moment where everybody, all together, keeps the Sabbath, where everybody, all together, does not chase anything of their desires, but instead is essentially clear of mind, not taking seriously the thoughts that come to mind, not engaging in conversations regarding the past or the future, living in that moment, it'll click, and we'll be living thereafter forever in the day that is completely Sabbath. The day where our inclinations match what is good for us. The day of truth and goodness. The day where, one by one, our problems are solved until we've achieved things that we can't even imagine achieving today. So that's what the Sabbath is supposed to be. And in a certain sense, all of this is speaking to a certain kind of community that doesn't exist, and I don't know if it ever existed. All of this is speaking to a community that is just this. It appears that in the desert, for a number of years, they did live this way. But even so, Moses has to repeat to them the Ten Commandments. V'zocharta. And you should remember, Ki evet ho yisa be'eretz Mitzrayim, that you were a slave in the land of Egypt. V'yotziyacha Yehoah Elohecha Misham, and Yehoah your God took you out of there. B'yod chazoka, with a strong hand. U'v'zroya netuya, with an outstretched arm. In other words, you were not uh, lowly, but you were in charge. You were big, large and in charge. Biyad Chazaka, with a strong hand, of Israel and Atuya, with an outstretched arm, Al came therefore, therefore, Tzivcha Yehoah Elohecha, Yehoah your God, your powers, your Elohim, commands you, La'asos, to do Es Yom HaShabbos, the day of the Sabbath. Yeah. Don't be a slave. At least one day a week, don't be a slave. At least one day a week, God took you out of Egypt. At least one day a week, don't be a slave even to your future self. And remember that you were slaves in Egypt. Elsewhere, the Bible says how you should definitely be nice to all the people living among you who are not of your people. Like I said, the ger says right there that people have to keep the Sabbath. The stranger who's among you, those that are living within your gates. And it says be nice to them because remember, you were slaves in Egypt. It sucked. So this is addressing two things. First of all, it's addressing all the other people and, and the animals that would be doing work, anything that would otherwise be suffering. No, it has a day of chofesh, a day of freedom on the Sabbath. And you yourself, remember, this is how it starts off. It's how God defines himself. The one who took you out of Egypt, the one who took you out of Auschwitz. Well, you might say, well, you put me in Auschwitz. You put me in Egypt. God specifically says he puts me in Egypt. God told Abraham they're going to be slaves in a land that's not theirs. He didn't specify, but that's what's understood to be Egypt. You're going to be land, you know, slaves in a land that's not theirs. No, that's not who the God is. That's, that's... I can't get into that very much, but God is the God of freedom. 